Have you ever wondered about strap-ons or how to go about shopping for one? Hi everyone, welcome back, or if you're new here, hi, my name is Emily and you're watching the Steak Shop YouTube channel where we discuss trending toys, show you how to use different products, and of course provide you with some sexy tips along the way. In this video, we're going to be taking you through all of the different types of strap-ons as well as providing you with some tips and tricks for buying this unique and universal couples toy. But first, if you don't want to miss out on any of our future fun, be sure to hit that subscribe button. A strap-on is a universal sex toy that can be used by any couple to enjoy penetration play, role-playing, to explore new positions, and they can even act as a sexual aid. If you are someone who would like to try a strap-on with your partner, the first step would be communication. Talk about your fantasies about using a strap-on and how you think you can incorporate it into your sex life. An important thing to discuss is also who is going to be the one wearing the harness and doing the penetrating and who is going to be the one who would like to receive. This information will be useful when purchasing your strap-on tools. At its most basic form, a strap-on consists of a harness and a dildo or attachment piece used for penetration. However, there are some other types of strap-ons out there that have a specific and unique purpose. Hollow strap-ons feature a hollow piece and were created for penis owners who want or need to insert themselves flaccid. Whether because of ED, erectile dysfunction, or a wild sex marathon, it gives their member a penetratable firmness and feel. Strapless strap-ons actually don't require the use of a harness at all, as someone with a vulva holds the bulbous end inside of them with their Kegel muscles and can then use the longer shaft end to penetrate a partner, either vaginally or anally. Now, these types of strap-ons can be a little bit more complicated to use as it does take some serious strength to be able to hold a toy inside of you and penetrate a partner at the same time. Pegging is a specific type of sexual activity, which typically, not always, but typically, involves a cisgendered woman anally penetrating a cisgendered man with a strap-on dildo. Since pegging is often about anal and especially prostate stimulation, pegging toys are often smaller and angled in a way to stimulate the prostate once inserted. When it comes to shopping, there are really two different ways you can go about looking for a strap-on. You can shop for everything individually, or there are many different kits out there, like this one by Pegasus, which gives you everything you need all in one place. Most kits come with a basic chalk style and O-ring harness, and usually one attachment, but sometimes more than one. Kits can provide a less intimidating and easier experience for beginners, as you get everything you need in one, instead of having to shop for everything separately. One negative thing about kits, though, is that they provide less of a customizable experience. When you're shopping for all of your tools individually, which we're about to dive into, you have more say and preference over things like the color, the material, the shape, and more. So let's start with harnesses. The harness is the piece of the strap-on that is actually worn on the body and holds in an attachment piece. This is usually done with an interchangeable and integrated O-ring that sits around the base of the toy. There are many different styles of harnesses, but the jock strap style tends to be the most popular as it tends to be more comfortable and can provide more contact points with the body, keeping the toy more secure. Some harnesses feature more stylish elements, such as corset tied backs, studs, or even lace to look more unique and aesthetic, while others can offer up more play possibilities, such as with an open crotch design or a little pocket in the front for a bullet vibrator. This pocket is a bonus for vulva havers as when they wear it, with each thrust they will be getting clitoral stimulation via vibration. Some things to consider when shopping for a harness are the materials, the sizing. Most harnesses are adjustable and sized in a one size fits most way, or they will typically provide the measurements on the packaging or in the description. The style and fit. As mentioned earlier, there are several different styles of harnesses, all fitting the body a little bit differently. And the closures. Most harnesses feature adjustable buckles along their straps. However, some are simply a stretch elastic or might feature a different type of closure like snaps. Once you have your harness, you can pick your attachment. If your harness is an O-ring style, pretty much any dildo with a flared base should work. Since the O-ring is designed to keep the toy in place, it should be a pretty snug fit. 
Many harnesses actually come with a few differently sized O-rings so that it can accommodate a wide variety of toys securely. Choosing an attachment is absolutely a personal preference as there are so many options to choose from, varying in shape, size, material, color, and realness. That can actually be a good place to start if you want your toy to look realistic or not. And then go from there in terms of what you will find pleasurable and comfortable. Some things to consider when shopping for an attachment are the materials. Whether you have allergies, sensitivities, or simply a personal preference, strap-on attachments can be found in a variety of materials, including silicone, jelly, glass, and more. The size, which is probably one of the most important decisions when it comes to any internal toy. Pay attention to the length, width, and especially the insertable length to ensure it will be a comfortable fit. And vibration. Some strap-on attachments and dildos also vibrate for even more stimulation during play. If you are looking to try something new, check out the unique body dock system created by the brand Pipe Dream. While most harnesses hold their attachments in via an O-ring, this system instead uses a large and super strong suction dock to secure the attachment to the harness. In addition to working with their own line of dildos, the body dock suction plate can be used with pretty much any suction cup based dildo. That was a lot of information about strap-ons, but if you still had any more questions about them or any of their bits and pieces, we'd be happy to answer them for you in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a like, and if you never want to miss another one, be sure to hit that notification bell. My name is Emily, and you've been watching the Steak Shop YouTube channel.